Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to build a brand new computer, the 12th generation Intel processor. Okay, and the reason we're building a computer is actually for more of content creation, benchmark, and anything related to our channel. And let me share with you the experience of being an early adapter to this technology or platform and even on Windows 11. Okay, uh, it is only November 10 and Microsoft or Intel actually recently just announced this 12th generation processor and it is actually new to the market. Okay, let's go with the experience or issue that I encountered regarding this one. Availability. Here in the Philippines, uh, in Gilmore, there are actually a lot of computer store or computer shop in Gilmore. But only two stores are actually selling this 12th generation CPU. Okay, then let's go with the first store. Okay, and the first store, this is my actually go-to store if ever I'll be purchasing an item for my computer. Okay, uh, they have the 12700K which I'm looking for. And they also have the motherboard, the DDR4 motherboard for uh, the motherboard that I want. Okay, it's the ASUS stuff in the... Motherboard costs around 14 to 15,000, the DDR4. And they also have the Aero G Gigabyte motherboard, which is the one I actually got. Okay, uh, around 14 to 15,000. So, processor, uh, 31,000. All in all, if I'll be getting the motherboard and processor on the first store, it will cost me around 46,000. Okay, and the problem is, in case that you will be buying a processor on this store, you are actually required to get a motherboard uh, a motherboard on their store as well, okay? And I tried to check the other store, the second store. Okay, for the second store, luckily enough, they also offer the 12700K, which is, I'm really happy about that one. But unfortunately, they only have a Gigabyte motherboard, the Gigabyte Aero Gia. I'm not actually saying that it's a bad motherboard, it's still Gigabyte, it's still good, okay? But I'm just really familiar with the Asus motherboard ever since I've been using the Asus Commando motherboard before. But moving aside, <laughs> and okay, for that one on the second store, it will only cost me for the bundle of 41000 Okay, that is actually a huge savings for me for the first store, 46 and the second store, 41 So I'd rather get the 41000 even though I'm not getting the Asus motherboard, but still a lot of savings for me okay aside from that one then when i'm uh, buying or uh, on the payment process of the motherboard and processor on the second store i was thinking what about if i'll be getting the ddr5 motherboard because moving forward eventually every release a new release will be moving to ddr5 as well so may, uh, it's not actually investment but uh, i can still use the ddr5 ram on the upcoming uh, generation of cpus or Intel or AMD. So that is actually a good idea. Okay, and the problem is if I'll be getting uh, the motherboard and CPU on the second store, the DDR5 motherboard is only allocated for the i9 12900K. So if I'll be buying the 12700K, I don't have any option to get the DDR5 motherboard. Okay, and if I'll be getting the DDR5 motherboard, because I was thinking, maybe, yeah, go, go with the DDR5. If I was able to purchase the DDR5 motherboard and the i9 12900K, I still have a problem. Okay, another problem comes that there are no DDR5 memory available yet in the first or second store or even any store in Gilmore during that time, guys, okay? I'm not really sure, but I try to check uh, each store if they are offering DDR5 memory unfortunately there are no available DDR5 memory for that time okay so for that one i'm happy i was able to get the uh, i7 12700k and the gigabyte motherboard okay then next issue is i forgot that the k series or the unlock series of intel processor doesn't come with a uh, stock cooler okay it actually makes sense because it is unlock you can overclock so a uh, stock cooler won't do the trick if you want to overclock your processor so i tried to check uh if they are selling uh the cpu pan or cpu cooler for the lga 1700 guys this is, uses the lga 1700 okay and unfortunately there are no specific cpu cooler yet for the lga lga 1700 
and I also tried on the first store and every store in Gilmore they don't offer a specific uh, CPU cooler for the LG A1700 so I'm really disappointed at that time then I go to the second store where I purchase it then uh, I'm really happy that they offered to try if there are is an uh, CPU cooler that will actually fit the LG A1700 but fortunately enough they tested this one it's an all-in-one cooler i am not really familiar with the brand but what uh i really purchased this one just to make sure that i will have a working computer instead of waiting for a specific lga 1700 cpu cooler and actually those are the issues that we encountered earlier on purchasing this unit or acquiring this unit for being an early adapter so okay let's try to check and build the computer and see if we will still have other issues along the way and let's build the computer now And guys, finally, we have completed our system. Okay, and I'll just like to give you some information on how long it took us to actually build this system for early adapters and some of the new things that we are not actually familiar with. Okay, uh, for this chassis, we built this for around two to three hours. Okay, well, just as justification or the reason why it took me uh, two to three hours actually, it is actually long just to build the uh, unit itself. The reason is, I'm not really familiar with RGB pans and AIO cooler and the Gigabyte motherboard. Okay, uh, for the motherboard, I'm really familiar with the ASUS motherboard. I started way back since ASUS Commando motherboard and yes, ever since I'm using ASUS motherboard but unfortunately, I have mentioned the reason why we are able to get the Gigabyte motherboard earlier on this video. And guys, uh, the RGB pass is not actually easy to install you for me for me actually this is because this is the first time that I'm installing an RGB full RGB system there are actually a lot of uh, connector or pins that you need to interconnect with the other fans so they will, they will be in sync and everything and of course for the header where I need to place those pins in the motherboard I'm not really familiar on the configuration of that one even on the AIO cooler the pump and the fan as well so it actually took me around two to three hours sorry for that one it is my own problem it's not actually a problem with the computer and okay for the operating system i think or i believe it is in hand in, in or in hand in hand in hand with windows 11 and the 12 generation cpu okay for the installation five to six hours it is actually a long time to install a operating system i I think I should be able to install it only around less than 30 minutes for the installation. Okay, the reason why it took us a while is, uh, okay, I already have the USB thumb drive with the Windows 11 on it to install the operating system. Then I installed the uh, M2 NVMe, NVMe drive on this computer. Then I tried to install it and I was able to get to the part where you need to choose a drive where you want to install Windows 11. But unfortunately, on that part, there is no drive available so maybe the system or the computer or the motherboard is not actually detecting that there is actually an NVMe but I tried to check uh, the BIOS and there is actually an NVMe detected uh, there are some uh, information that there is an NVMe but not a complete information on how how big is the capacity and everything like that one then I tried to uh, move the NVMe to the other M.2 slot and unfortunately same issue i was not able to install the operating system that we had earlier then i tried to get a sata ssd and fortunately enough we are able to install windows 11 without any issue in less than 30 minutes but i really don't like to use that uh, sata ssd for my main drive i purchased the nvme drive for of course i want to use it as our main drive then I tried to check uh, on the 
SAT ISSD where, where we already installed the operating system. I try to check on the disk management if uh, the operating system can actually detect if there is actually an NVMe installed on this computer. Unfortunately, in, in disk management, it appears that there is an NVMe connect, uh, installed on this computer. We try to test it, uh, put some files, and uh, uh, run some files on that drive. It works. Okay, so what I did next is try to clone the SATA SSD to the NVMe drive and try to check if it will boot. Unfortunately, same issue. Uh, we are not able to boot on that NVMe drive, so I tried to check if there is actually a BIOS update, BIOS firmware update on Gigabyte. And fortunately enough, there is a new firmware update for the AeroG because this AeroG have a F2 BIOS firmware and there is already an F4 BIOS firmware update on the website. Then I tried to install it and unfortunately again, it is not working. We are having error during the installation of the BIOS firmware. And okay, and then next I tried to play around with the BIOS settings, uh, the UEFI, legacy settings, and a lot of things. I have tried that one and it didn't work as well. So we resorted to Google. Then when I tried to check if there are NVMe issues regarding uh, Windows installation on Gigabyte, and there is actually on Reddit, I believe, uh, on Reddit, there are actually a lot of people having issues with the Gigabyte motherboard. Okay, sorry, I'm not ranting, but uh, there are actually a lot of issues with the Gigabyte motherboard. Same issue that we encountered, NVMe issue installation. It is not just on this uh, AeroG, but there are other, uh, say, 690 series, other variants that are having issues with the installation as well. Then, uh, some suggested that they were able to fix it by upgrading the firmware, but unfortunately, it didn't work for us. It, we are encountering an error. Then we, uh, some of the configuration change, it didn't work for us. But fortunately, there is one person uh, commented that regarding the BMD, which is the BMD is actually a storage controller hardware. And we tried to disable that one. And guys, it worked. And in less than 30 minutes, we are able to install the operating system. Okay. And actually, uh, those are some or maybe most of the reason on early adapters uh, having issues on installation and configuring or setting up the system. For early adapters, there are actually a lot of problems. And you will definitely see a lot of uh, firmware upgrade, BIOS update, or update uh, patches update on Microsoft Windows 11 as well. Actually, for early adapters, there will be a lot of issue. So my suggestion is if you're uh, planning to buy a new system and you already have a, a system, an old system, try to wait for a little longer so you won't be encountering uh, a lot of issues during your purchase or system build on the new generation computer. But if you'll be buying a uh, 11 gen, ah, 11th or 10th gen, so it will work great. And for Windows, if you'll be installing uh, not Windows 11, it will work great as well. But if you're planning to go to the newest generation and newest operating system, try to wait for a little more. So by the time that you already purchased this unit, there will be less problem during the configuration or installation. But if you're buying a new computer, guys, there is actually a lot of review around regarding the 12th generation CPU. And guys, it is actually good. So try to invest on that one, but again, try to wait for a little while so there will be less problem during when you already purchase or building your unit. And I think that's all and I'll try to benchmark as much as possible with this machine, uh, do a graphics card test as well, and a lot of things. I'll be doing those things, but guys, I hope you learned something from this one for early adapters and one of the reasons why you shouldn't jump up uh, buying the newest and the grandest uh, technology on available is those things. And yeah, it's fun to troubleshoot it, but it's eight to nine hours. It is actually a long time. And guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe and bye.